Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are building this because it's small and cute and I wanted to. Now it was requested to build in Granite Falls and I don't know what other packs this person has. So this will be an outdoor retreat and base game only build. I haven't built here before, but it looks like these two are actually by water already. This one looks cute. I don't like this one. So we're gonna replace this one. So the first thing I have to do is make a little bit of a pond. Now the way I like to make ponds is start by lowering some terrain. And I'm actually gonna turn the grid off by pressing G. And then I like to put the water in and then continue shaping the pond from there. So right now it's just like a whole circle and I'd like for it to have a little bit more shape happening. I think I'll make it wider toward the back of the lot and a little bit more narrow, oops, a little bit more narrow over here. So I'm going to bring in my flattened terrain tool and sort of push it back. I think my water also might be too high. So let me lower it one click. There we go. That's better. Okay. And I like it doing it this way because then I can actually see what I'm doing you know, with the water and everything. Oh, that was still the smooth. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this flattened one to make it deeper and then we'll go through and smooth it again. Now, of course it's looking pretty green, but that's okay. We can just fix that with terrain paint. I like using a super dark one in the water and then I'll blend that into whatever one we're gonna end up using. It's not a perfect circle and that's really mostly what I'm going for here. And then we'll add like rocks and decorations and whatever. So now the part that I think everybody's actually excited about is how are we going to get our floating house? So it's actually the same thing as the tree house method, which you may be familiar with, which is you draw a room, you draw another room on top of it. And then I'm just gonna move this room over to where I want it and bring it down. Now, if we take a look at this, judging by the windows up top and the door, three by nine, I think is what I'm gonna start with on this one. And now we'll get rid of this and we'll get that little look of the boat, the little platform by grabbing some floor trim. And I'm gonna use a thicker one like this. There's a potential that we could possibly go into debug and find a boat. However, I don't have better build by right now. So I'm just going to go here and see if I can find a debug boat that use or that's from one of the packs that we're actually using today. All right, so we could potentially maybe do with this. Let's turn on move objects, obviously. There we go. So I'm using nine and zero to raise and lower my objects. Hmm, that might be as close as we're gonna get. Let me jump on the gallery again and see if we've got anything else. Okay, I did find the boat trailer, which we might stick on the lot somewhere. So here's my issue with this boat part, the motor, because if I want this to actually like have the little deck like we have, I won't be able to use the motor. I might be able to put like a little deck here, like over the front, but then how much is it worth having just this little bit of boat showing to have the motor or we could do it a little bit more like the original picture minus that little bit of curve, which is more important basically. I think I'm gonna try and go for without the boat. This is what I've got currently. So by using two different thicknesses of the floor trim, I was able to sort of still create that illusion of it floating on the boat with the platform off the end. I think overall this will translate into the game a little bit better. Also, we have to be able to um actually get, you know, on. I'm thinking about moving the house further onto the water so I can make a dock leading out to it. I think that would be really cute. So like, I'm gonna place this here. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit so that then we can add a little step connecting it, hopefully. Oh yeah, that worked great. And then I will use our stilted foundation. That looks good and dock-like. These stairs are having problems. Okay, come on. I know you can connect. There we go. To get this to look a little bit better, I think I'm gonna bring terrain manipulation back into it. Who knew this was gonna be terrain manipulation day? It's definitely not what I thought I was gonna be doing when I woke up. I'll smooth that out. That definitely looks a little bit better. We're almost there. I'm just going to raise it up a little bit more and then flatten and smooth again. So what we'll have to do is just use these same steps and place them here. That'll make sure your sims can actually get onto the dock regardless of what else may be going on. So there we go. Uh, where's my roof? My roof is gone. Okay, that's fine. Who needs a roof anyways? Um, I'm using shift C to get that little bit uh, better curve in the roof and I am pulling them both up all the way. Pull that down pull it out. There we go. So this outdoor retreat paneling is quite wide. This is the correct width, but the wrong direction. So I might I might end up going with base game here. Wouldn't it be amazing if the stuff in the game actually matched? But no, I can't see what the roof texture is, but I'm guessing it's some sort of metal. And then over here, I'm going to hold shift to pull this out over part of our, our little deck out front here. Let's do doors and windows next. So we definitely have a nice big glass door here. Well, and by big, I mean large glass. And we need a couple of more simple windows on either side. This doesn't have just like a plain rectangle option because this size would be great. 
Maybe we embrace some of the rusticness of the world and pull in some of these windows instead. It'll make it a little bit less modern, but I feel like it's either that or this, which I'm just not a fan of, or floor to ceiling windows, which also not gonna go for here. Now it does look like there's a door over here, which I don't think I'll turn into a door um, just because it's like a boat. Now I guess it's kind of supposed to be like a little door to get out to some herbs. Hmm. So we could potentially add like that coming off the side and I'll go grab my floor trim again. I was using this one in this color, I think. Do we like it? Actually, actually kind of do like it. Hang on, this might be how we're able to get some of that boat shape back. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it all the way over here. Oh, come on, you can do it. I know you can. I believe it. you can't connect blocks from different levels. What is the holdup? Oh, it's our dock. Okay, that's fine. I'll just move the dock over a little bit. Easy peasy. I lost my stairs, but that's fine. Put them back. Yay, more stairs. Okay, how do you guys feel about this? Do you think that this is a decent, like, balance between having the boat and having it be more functional or do you hate it? Let me know down below because I'm curious. I would love to get a tiny bit of a side here. Just a little bit. But that's like, that's just way too aggressive. And this one, I'm not a huge fan of and your sims literally will just step right over it. Oh, maybe a tiny half wall. Can we get a similar dark blue gray color? All right. All right. And half wall trim is here. I'm just going to do black. I think. Oh, the whole thing was because we have doors and windows that we're putting down. I'm a professional, guys. I'm gonna press F5 for quarter tile placement because I think that window goes there. Um, and then we have a couple more big windows here-ish. Like a tile and a half in, and then there are two of them. So we have like a little window, and then we have little windows above this little window set. Hold Alt to place. Okay. Um, and then we've got more little windows. So we've got another- whoops. Another little one here. Oh no, maybe these two are connected. That's what I'm going with. Okay, and there are probably more windows on the other side and there's also another little window over here somewhere like between these two. Don't know if I'll keep all the windows. <laughs> We'll see. And the front looks like it has a bit of a slope to it, which is interesting. So we might actually have to change our roof after all. So I'm gonna pull all the eaves in, push this back to just be the one tile and then pitch it up. And I can get all the way up, which means what I'm gonna do here is actually get rid of that piece and use a half hipped roof um, here instead. Shift C so I can adjust the curves. Um, shift again to just adjust the one eave. Uh, what this will let me do is actually have these roof pieces like connect, uh, which is good and I, I can't tell if there's a curve on this one or not. I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve just because I think that'll look nice. Adorable. This will look so much better with plants on it, I swear. Oh, if we were using Seasons, that has the best little corbel for right here. Um, But we're not, and I'm not sold on these. This, oh, actually, you know what? That's not bad. It feels very Willow Creek but maybe. We'll see how it works once we actually decorate the rest of the outside. So I'm scaling it down the bracket keys and then raising it once with nine to get it even on either side. Just some nice light wood flooring. Oh, we do have some granite falls floor. So maybe we'll use that. And I think this is the same pretty much inside and out. Oh, we're placing ceilings. Don't want ceilings. However, I will put this here so that the reflection on the water isn't just white. Uh, that feels like a good plan. It does look like the inside is raised a little bit. However, stuff behaves weirdly on platforms. We do only have the one floor though. This might be okay. It might be okay. I'll leave it here. Might be okay. And then for the inside walls, we can definitely use this. That looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, the living room's definitely a separate room. It looks like we've got a couch and then a wall. So it's either two or three tiles and then a wall here. We also need to figure out how we're gonna do the bed situation and the kitchen and a bathroom. We gotta fit it all in this space. My guess is the bathroom is probably here-ish. Maybe we do a couch and this is our living room and then we do a little bit of a galley kitchen. Um, can I fit a bathroom here? But we don't have an open shower. Okay, it'd be really easy to just like bump this out, but that feels like cheating. So we're not gonna do that. What we could do is one of these, which is a little bit more awkward, but it will fit a full bathroom. How the heck am I gonna get a kitchen in this space and beds? Really, we only need three tiles for our kitchen. We need a counter, a stove, and a refrigerator because we can have the sink in here. That bed should still be usable if we put, or sorry, the door should still be usable if we put the bed here. We can also still use the bed if I put a wall here and have our whole kitchen situation in this little L shape. Here. Don't know if we'll have space for any sort of dining in here. Guess I'll just go ahead and do the bathroom 
bathroom. For those of you who haven't seen this bathroom layout yet, let me show you my absolute favorite portile bathroom layout. I don't know if I want to duplicate these windows on the other side exactly, but I'll definitely put some in. I'll put some in over the kitchen and in the bathroom. And it doesn't look like there's one over the couch, so I won't put one there. Anyway, sidetracking aside, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to bathrooms. We're going to grab a shower and our shower is going to share the same tile as the door. And then after that, we're going to take a toilet and we can put it right in here. Now I'm going to hold alt to put it as close to the wall as I can get, but still look like remotely realistic. Your Sims can walk through here so long as they have a quarter tile of space. Finally, we can add our sink. Now I could use one of these sinks, but since it's supposed to also function for our kitchen, I think what I'm going to do is actually put down a cabinet so we can have a slightly larger sink. There we go. So there is a totally functional four tile bathroom. And then for our kitchen layout, we need a refrigerator and a stove and a couple of counters. Now, some people can't actually use corner cabinets for cooking for whatever reason. So I'll put in a full counter and a corner counter since I don't know what sort of bugs your game may have. And then a little stove. If the door wasn't there, we might be able to do some sort of dining situation there, but the door is there, so we will not. Kind of like that bed here too. That's nice. Okay, then we have to add a little couch and then it'll be time to decorate. Yay. Yeah, I'm going to recommend replacing the couch if you have more than just these packs. I am not a decorator, um, but this really did look like a fun challenge. There is space in this little corner here for a small table. Oh, that is going to be too large. I thought maybe your Sims could like scooch past it, but no. Maybe we put the dresser over here. Now these will technically work if you scale them down once. I really want this to sit in the corner, but it does not want to. If I use move objects, does it float? It sure does. Fantastic. Okay, for the time being, I'm going to raise this and then I'm going to shrink it down and place it where I want it and then see if it's still going to be weird. It did stay put. High five team. And then the television obviously will float if we try to do that, but what we can do is put the television there as if it's slotted there and then put a shelf under it. That should work as well. That should work. Now, what does the base game have to offer? We've got this art in a box. And then I'm gonna find a little lantern type thing. I like this one. Feels very built in, like it could have been part of a boat that they rescued. Or we've got the old gas lamp. Ooh, maybe that one. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. It's a little bit more cluttered than in the original, but I feel like we need something to break up all this beige on beige on beige with the wood tones. It's one of those things that looks fine in real life sometimes, and then in the game it just not so much. Uh, for the bathroom, I'm... oh, I guess I'll stick with the same light, uh, but I need to make sure that I can also fit a mirror in here. Our little lamp is not working out so hot here. I will add toilet paper though. Camping in style. Um, moving on to the kitchen. I might put cabinets over on this wall. Let's see, because I know we've got the window there, but we're just making up window placement over on this side anyway. So if we wanted to, we could uh, pretend it's like that instead, or even add maybe a full-size window. Wouldn't that be something? Now this bathroom definitely doesn't make sense with that window placement. I guess it's possible. Maybe we move the bathroom over by the bedroom, because this would make a lot more sense with the windows if we could put like a dining table there. Hmm, I'm changing so many things I said I wasn't going to change, but like... I'm really trying on this. I really am. I realize it might not look or sound like I am, but I promise I am. There are a lot of things I'd like to do differently, but I'm not going to. Why is my roof being stupid now? Is it the roof trim? Oh, you know what it is. It's the platform. Oh, maybe it's not. Well, I know we were having a bug similar to this with the platform before. Well, now what we can do is scooch this closer to the wall and it'll still work the same with the scooch and everything. And then actually just take uh, our her normal size dresser and place it here. This will this will all still work just fine. Yeah, I'm 99% sure that'll work. And we'll reconfigure our little living room situation because we can do a dining situation too. I like the little round one. Now I'm only gonna put two chairs. Probably won't be able to walk through there. So I think I'll put it here. Living room, we can actually go back in and grab another little table or whatever. This really looks functional. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. All this came about because I was trying to place cabinets and I completely forgot I was doing that. Okay, so I'm going to take a hood. I'm going to put the hood there and then I'm going to go in and grab my cabinets and see if I want to place them here. That works. Oh wait, this is for postcards. That would make sense. Yeah, let's put our postcard collection over here. That was the wrong button. And I guess, I mean, you're on a lake. Let's add a fish bowl too so you can keep your fish. Where did my roof trim go? It was just there. I don't know. I'm really wondering if it is the platform. It looks nice, 
but I think we're gonna have to go with no platform because it is, I think it's messing with my roof trim. And obviously we can't have that. We need a good little fence here. It's not gonna be a very interesting fence. It's a pretty simple fence. I think one side is a fence and one side is a little table. I might change my little stair color here as well. I'm not sure if the stairs should belong to the dock or belong to the boat. I feel like they should belong to the boat, so I'll do a lighter wood. Now here we have a white wicker chair, which we do not have in the packs we're using today. We could put like one of these tables out here though. That might be useful and cute and we could put plants on that. That's adorable. That is way too big to put inside. And honestly, I think we could do a whole collection of like fluid containing vessels with flowers in them. It's a whole theme. I think it's cute. Judge me in the comments, go for it. Um, also redecorate and let me know if you do because I want to see what you guys do and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, that was such a better idea than what I did. <laughs> oh, come on little chair. I need you to not interfere. You know what we're gonna have to do, I think, is we're gonna move the chair out this way a bit just so that it doesn't interfere with the door because this I can scooch much further toward the little fence than the chair. Uh, my roof is definitely pitched up way too much, but that's because we were trying to figure out what was wrong with the roof trim. There is a cute little ceiling light hanging out here, which I like and we can do. So I'm going to go over to lighting, got ceiling lights. Well, not like the exact same light, but we've got this. And then to get it look like it's hanging from the roof, all I have to do is press nine and raise it up until it's the appropriate height. And of course, we've still got loads of plants over on the other side. I'm just wondering how we can get best looking plant situation happening over here. So we're definitely limited with our indoor plants. I'm just gonna have to go through and place as many plants as I can. Why is stuff loading? I don't know. I don't know how this game works. What I do know is I'm just gonna try to layer in some plants to get the same general vibe as what we've got going on in our picture. I think we need some flowering plants as well. I know that there's like a hack with one of the shelves you can do, but I don't know if the shelf goes low enough on the wall. I should be able to match the height of that shelf up there and then take this plant and then hold alt to place it on the wall. Oh, maybe that will work. Most impressive. Um, I could even put a couple of plants outside on our little edge here. Now, most of this isn't actually going to like be usable and make much sense. All these plants are obviously decorative, but we could actually grab a couple of these little planters here and here, which your Sims can actually access and use and grow stuff in. What do you think? It feels very obviously base game, but it's what I've got. Now over here, I don't have a door to, and I don't think I'm going to add a door to. I'll still leave it. Maybe I'll find some like boxes or something we can put over here as storage or something like that. All right, no, none of this is accessible. I just want it to look like it's being used for something and I chose storage. So I went through and just grabbed a few things out of our outdoor retreat items here. And let's see what we want to do about landscaping. One thing I definitely want to add are some little pond stick, oh, some little pond stickers here. So these look kind of weird, but they do turn into little animated features in live mode. So put some of those down. So that'll help our pond feel a little bit more alive. There aren't lily pads in here because I'm pretty sure this is on a river, but we are not on a river today. Uh, we are on a lake. So I'm gonna add some lily pads growing out here. I don't think we have algae in the base game. No, just lily pads. So I'm gonna put those out there. Ooh, and a log. Cause this will get turtles, which is great fun. Reeds we can put. I don't like using these reeds because they have mud that comes with them. I much prefer the grasses that just grow straight out of the ground. Um, so I'll probably use these along the edge of the water. Let's landscape from the back first. Definitely want some trees. Now the trees that we have here I think actually come with the pack. So that's pretty great. I don't want to add too many trees because while it would look good like it does in the picture, it will mess with your gameplay, which nobody wants. And of course I am resizing these a little bit here and there with my bracket keys, just to, to keep that variety happening. Other things we can add. This grass looks pretty scrubby, so we could put some of that in. Um, we also have these like ferns though, which are super cool. I like these. I think I'll start with some of those. It's definitely not my traditional um, suburban landscaping. Hey, as long as we're building a little forest thing, did you guys know that I actually have a whole video about how to build a, or build landscape whatever um a forest and and just the general like tips and tricks that i use myself that i follow um the sort of method to the madness when it comes to making a forest look remotely decent so if you'd like to check that video out i will link it at the end of this one it is a long one all of my landscaping specific videos are pretty long 
and you can just sort of skip around to what you like. Uh, I think that it also has a waterfall tutorial in it, uh, which we will not be doing here today because I'm, I feel like two minutes. <laughs> So I might have to come back and finish it. So my voice might sound a little bit different at the end of the video because sometimes the mic moves or my voice might change after I go outside or whatever. I think I might just go in with some of this grass and some wildflowers and then cover up any weird bits uh, with rocks. It's a nice break from all the suburban <laughs> type stuff um, that I've been doing more recently. Oh, the garage door is opening. My husband is home. He doesn't know that I'm recording. All right, I'm gonna have to stop here anyway, um, and I'll be right back. This isn't gonna be like a part two. This is just me telling you my voice might sound different in the next clip because I have things to do. New day for me, same day for you. I think I was adding wildflowers next. This is why I try to not record videos over multiple days, but sometimes it happens. So Outdoor Retreat actually came with some really fun new wildflowers. So I think I'm going to use those. Turn on move objects, of course. And now I'm going to go through and I'm gonna hold shift and alt at the same time so I can place multiple on and off the grid and rotate them and just get a little bit of variety in placement and spacing with my little flowers here. And I do like that these are multiple different colors, um, but I really like, where's the other little flowers I like so much? Are they here? Yeah, I really like these little guys as well. So I think I'm gonna put some of these in too. They look a little bit weird with this particular lighting, um, but they look better with other lighting. So we're gonna put them in. I'm also going to add some rocks because as you know, I can't not, and it looks like our default rock color is gonna work great here. I don't know if I'll put in any just normal sized rocks. I'm probably gonna scale pretty much all of them up. This will help it blend into the world a little bit better, um, sort of overlapping the edge there. Some of the rocks might float if they're on a hill, but my hill slope is pretty gradual, so I can't really see the float too much. If I just stack a few all together here, that should should hide the floating pretty well. And we will be blending this landscaping into the pond as well. Try and mimic some of this look with all the rocks sort of overflowing and overlapping into the water. I'm sure those are technical geological terms. Somebody will correct me. It's the beauty of the internet. If you're wrong, you will be told. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that for sort of my foresting landscape. Now to landscape around the pond. I'm not going to put plants all the way around it just because that's going to be a lot and it's really going to slow um, our lot down. But I will put some, I think, sort of coming out from these plants here. Like I'll move this a little bit closer. And then water specific plants though, I'm going to start bringing in this not grass grass as well as these, which I mentioned earlier in the video, using instead of the reeds that come with the pond decorations, just because I don't like that those have the mud at the bottom. All right, so we're going to bring those in. Other good water plants that I like are not in these packs, so I'll have to make something else up. I could use these to sort of look like they're little water plants. They're not technically water plants, but they look nice. They help bridge that little gap. And the terrain paint will help as well. Other water plants that are in the game though, um, like the willow would be a water plant. So we could put that in or close to the water. And I feel like I need something off this dock, but I don't know if I actually want to do landscaping there or if I want to bring a path down and put a fishing sign in there. Now this particular fishing sign does require that you stock the pond yourself, which I'm not a fan of. So I think I'm gonna grab the other fishing sign off the gallery. Fishing sign pre-stocked. This should be the correct one. Yay. So if I put this sign in, then it'll come pre-stocked with fish I and mean, you don't have to worry about it. In the pond, I'm going to take more of this green, green grass and I'm going to size it up with my bracket keys and place some of this down below. Then it'll sort of look like, you know, seaweed and other gross things that you don't actually want to touch when you go swimming. Some rocks in there. And I might actually recolor these rocks to be a little bit darker just to provide more of that illusion of depth. So for my terrain paint, oh, light porous green, what do you do? I don't know about that. All right, I think I'm going to take my do or die to place around the edge of my pond. Now I realize that this would probably just be like, let me do earthy earth, earth, earthy earth, earthy dirt. Jeez, <laughs> bring in some of this. Anyway, I realize that it might like in real life be green all the way down to the edge of the water. However, I like adding um, more lines and textures and stuff when I can. I feel like it helps the build look better, even if it's not always the most realistic thing. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around the edge of my pond and blend my darker dirt into the lighter dirt. I'm going to put paint it under most of my plants, except where my coniferous trees are underneath my dock. And I'm going to bring this down and that'll be like my little fire pit area. I might some put some plants or rocks or something over here too. And then for where my trees are at, I'm actually going to grab this one um, because it kind of looks like pine needles fell down. 
So I like I like that. So I'm gonna put that under these plants over here and under these and blend this all together. Also just realized I should probably like, I don't know, connect this to the edge of the lot as well. It doesn't always look great because it has to end right there, but it's kind of what I got to work with. And if you really don't like it, then you can grab your eraser tool and just sort of create a soft fade as it were. There, now it looks a little bit more patchy. I forgot about the horseshoes. I think I'm gonna put those in too. Ooh, and a telescope. Oh, there are so many good things to put in here. I'm not too concerned about a ton of seating over here because it's not a very large boat. I think I'll put one of these little logs and maybe one of these folding chairs because it looks comfy. And these are slotting to the fire. It feels a little close to the fire, but that's where it wants to slot. So I'm gonna let it. There's a mailbox and a trash can. I definitely wanna make sure I'm getting some of these fish stickers under our little house as well because they'll still animate. And I think that'll add some like some really cool effects make the house really feel like it's floating if there's motion underneath it. That's my idea anyway. I want to put down some lightning bugs and then I want to test this out in live mode and see how it looks. So for lightning bugs, I am going to spam click all throughout our little forest pieces here. And because the um, lightning bugs and whatever else spawn based on where the sticker is, we can actually create some interesting effects of looking like lightning bugs are like in the trees um, by raising our stickers up. It looks kind of silly in build mode, but it looks pretty cool in not build mode. So I'm not going to put them too far up. They don't really fly that high. Um, just a little bit in the trees for some twinkling, you know? Well, it's winter. I think there might be a cheat to change that though, uh, which hopefully will melt the snow pretty quick and maybe, oh, we can see some of the lightning bugs. Okay, cool. And we know that the bed works, shower works, uh, the toilet should work and we'll make a quick meal as well. Let's make a grilled cheese. That can't go wrong. Looks like it works fine. Well, that's very exciting. We can see the little fishies swimming around. Now these aren't, again, catchable fish. They will just stay there no matter how much you fish the pond. Our ducks are swimming around. We've got our dragonflies. We should be able to see our little tadpoles. Oh, I was thinking about changing the um, water color as well, which I can't do from here. Now I've got this one with just the leaves or this one with the sticks. I kind of like the one with the sticks. Here are a couple of screenshots that I took, our inspiration photo, all that jazz. I'm gonna call it Lakeside Houseboat Cabin because this lot is Lakeside Retreat and I think it works pretty well on this lot. So I'm adding that to the hashtags Lakeside Retreat Outdoor Retreat as well as boat, houseboat, boat house, cabin, cottage. That's a bane. I don't know what that is. That was supposed to be cabin. There we go. And any other like vacation-y hashtags. And check to make sure that it did in fact only use the one pack. And there's today's build. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you like your house. <laughs> Hopefully I did the photo justice. If anybody wants to redecorate this, please, please, please tag me in your photos or videos or whatever. I would love to see what you do with this as always. Thank you so much for building with me today and I look forward to building with you all again very, very soon. Bye.